in this video I'm going to show how I built the free star spear now this is kind of a build that's inspired off of two ships my favorite enemy ship in the game is the ecliptic claymore and in my opinion one of the better ships problem is that when you capture enemy ships they can be problematic with crew skill points and and whatnot so what I did was I purchased a Dragonfire 2 which is basically the civilian version of the Ecliptic Claymore and then I modified it to come out with with this and I did put the Freestar colors on it it's a C-class ship 2300 cargo, 1600 shields, 30 light year jump range, mobility is at 93, and a top speed of 150. Okay, I've got it broken apart. Basically, uh, the ground level here, and there, there is a little bit of two layers going on here, but it makes sense to put it in this ground floor, middle floor, and then the top trim pieces there's only two floors on this with the Cabot bridge so let's start where we always start on the main ground floor so underneath we've got the Deimos landing bay and the Nova landing gear there more Nova landing gear in the back and we've got this Nova cowling over the top of all that we've got an all-in-one berth a workshop and a science lab now the docker forgot to mention that that is there dockers right there and that's attached to this one by one have the two Nova cowlings the Nova bracer that's that Nova cowling we showed before the HE 3 tank which sits between the two landing gear down there then on top of those landing gear we have Nova Bracers attached to the outside of those the Nova braking engines and flipping around to the back we've got four of the 4330s in their different configurations there alright moving up a level we've got the other two engines so that's a total of six engines now we do have these pieces here there's two of them and they are snap glitched in the Nova wing ports to get that look in front of the engines on this floor we've got the 30T cargo holds either side and we've got this HE3 tank Thirty-two hundred grab drive. The Assurance SG eighteen hundred shield. Did I mention the grab drive? Thirty-two hundred grab drive. Yeah. And then we got two of the Hope Tech pipes A. And connected to that, we've got the control station. Two Nova Collings. And those are the uh, the rear, and these are the the mids. And that's it for this level. Oh, that, I think I forgot to mention these: the brake tile braking engines on either side, connected to the cargo there. All right, moving up to the trim pieces. Nova cowling. Nova cowling. Nova cowling. This is this piece here is that one flipped backwards and that's a Deimos 4 
Again, this one is flip glitched, so it'll seamlessly go into that one. Then we have Deimos Hull, and then Deimos Wing D on either side, and then to complete the look, we've got the Deimos Tail. And then of course the cockpit just slides on there. Some of this may not may not fit on. Oh, it does. Okay, so all of that fits together fine. Okay, most of the assembly is pretty straightforward, but I did want to cover this part because there is a little bit of uh, flip glitching involved. So the first piece you got to place is this one. Make sure it's centered right there. Not forward, but right over the top of the hab. Then we bring this piece in. And then this is where it gets a little tricky. You actually have to take the shield off the top of the grab drive. Put that piece there. Put that piece there. Then, once all this is here, take that off. Put the shield down. Bring that over. Do the flip and cancel out. Then we bring this piece over. We do the flip. Cancel out. Now you've got this part that kind of flows nicely in there and the shield is covered. Now these parts here will just go on no problem. The only thing with mine is I have this um, conduction grid here. So it's a little more difficult to get because I can't flip it with that conduction grid on. But you probably won't have that conduction grid. Let me get it off there. That will go go on without an issue. But I did want to I did want to show that because you kind of got to do it in a certain sequence and then go backwards a little bit and then do the, the flip glitches in a certain order to get all that to uh, see if I delete this we won't have any uh, we won't have any errors everything will be nominal but I don't want to delete that so that completes the build okay we're gonna do the walk around but before we do that let me just cover what weapons I've got on here I've got four of the PB-175 Hellion beams, two on either side. I've got three of the PB-100 Neutron beams, and I have the Fireball 4000. It's a large ship, but you shouldn't run into problems because the loading bay is recessed all the way back underneath there. But this is a this is a large ship. I think it has a, a great look to it. Especially if you're a free star. Alright, let's head inside. It does go up. That makes it so there's only two floors you have to deal with and should be no ladders that you have to climb. Something in my pack's got your name on it, Cap. So you come right up into the workshop. Behind the workshop is the little one by one that goes to the slim docker on the bottom. And when you come up here, both of your hey, side halves are immediately off of the loading bay. Science lab over here. And you're all in one berth there. Then walking through the workshop, 
At the bottom floor of your cockpit. No ladders. And the only thing up here are the crew stations. And that's what gives it the crew number bump. Standard bridge with all of your stuff over here. Okay, so that wraps up the build portion of the video. I'm going to jump out and do some some combat and some speed testing. If you're interested in that, stick around. If you're only interested in the build, you're going to stop here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Let's take her up and see if we can find a little bit of combat and do some quick speed testing. And if you're not going to be capturing ships, you can do that. And if you need one for the grab drive, I usually take it out of there. But if you're just hopping planet to planet in the system, you can take all pips out of your grab and put it max out your engine shield in both weapon sets. All right, since we don't have enemies, let's do some speed testing. So with perks, I'm about 180. Top speed for these engines are 150. Let's see if I can remove some pips. So this is what you're going to get if you don't have any skill points. Let's do a boost and see. So 150. One fifty and almost six hundred with the uh, stock, no skill points. Full skill points. Again, one eighty. And a little over seven hundred. So it's not your fastest ship, but it's plenty plenty fast. Thruster maneuverability is good. All right, let's see if we can find uh, something to shoot. We're in a level 75 system, so hopefully we'll get some higher level targets. But this is the ship that I'll, I'll build on every playthrough. I don't like it that much. I might speed this up if I don't run into anything. I'll speed it up until I do end up getting a contact. So we've got, I think, at least two, maybe, two Starborn here. Level 72. Return to the
really no challenge. Let's see if we can find some uh, an enemy encounter that has multiples, maybe at least three. I could go to Serpentis, but normally I end up drawing a lower level multiple enemies there. We'll see. Oh, we got civilian ships here. Not going to be what we want. We'll try one more and then we'll go to Serpentis where we're pretty much probably guaranteed some good stuff. No, not going to listen to that jerkwad. Give it a few seconds. Okay. Not in the cards for us. We'll go to a, go where we know we're gonna get something good. We're already out of his range. We're out of our range, too. But that's why I love these weapons, because you can engage. Yeah, really, with this ship, unless you hop into Cricks and you're not uh, allied, or you just hop into a UC system and start blasting... 20, 30 ships. There's nothing the game is going to throw at you that this ship can't handle. Alright, let's check this out. Who knows what this will be. Hostile activity. Those are all good, good uh, higher level ships. Okay, so that wraps up my little combat tour of the ship. As you can see, it's more than adequate for handling anything that the game could throw your way, other than just going up against an entire system. 
then you might want a little bit faster ship. But that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one.